Thief Simulator. This is the part of the stream that's a little different from your normal Sunday streams. Um, don't expect any, you, you know, weird or trash. We already got that. This is an actual game. And it looks ridiculous, but also really well done. Someone earlier said that they were hoping that it was a simulation of a dude at a computer playing the Thief video game. It's not that. Definitely not that. So you're this guy, Agent 40 Thief. And you have to break into someone's house, or many someone's houses, and steal their shit. It's time to be immoral. Alright, my name is Jason Statham. Oh, I'd like to uh, first announce before I play this that I do not condone anyone being a thief. You shouldn't break into people's houses and uh, stop that, please. Thank you. you know, tackling the big issues here on Vine Sauce. Can't tell me what to do. You're not my father. I don't like this guy. He accidentally banned me before he pressed my name before. He banned me. So now I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to be a thief. Okay. So there we go. There's the thief. You can tell he's a thief because he's got a leather jacket. Um, this is a requirement. Vinny. Hey, it's me, Vinny. What the fuck? Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. Nice stereotypes. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Just get the sensitivity down a little bit more. The Lombardis paid your bail. The Lombardis? They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if you get what I mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me. The last one. Stealth. Sneaking allows you to make less noises, but you'll be slower. You can also lean. Yeah. So, what you didn't know about this is this is a secret Half-Life release. Avoid the light. When sneaking around at night, it's best to avoid well-lit places. Your flashlight will also make you easy to spot. Hey, some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. Kind of like a neighbor game. This is the adult neighbor game. So lock picking level four, glass knife. Alright, window is locked. Guess I'll just break the window. Uh, good job. 
Time to redistribute a little wealth. I'll take that. I just just shoved that in my bag real quick. Got here sneakers, shoes. What do you, what do you got? What do you got for me? No, I don't want any of that shit. Bathroom. Got anything valuable in here? No, just scum. They got a loot crate in the house somewhere? There we go. What is this? Pot. One pound. I mean, sure, it's only one pound, but man, is it cumbersome. Gotta carry that around with me? Old toaster. Money. Yeah, loose Time money. Bail, man. Get in the car. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. Oh, okay, I gotta put the crowbar away. Get in the car. Is he a New Yorker or is he from Boston? Crowbar. Whose neighbor was that? Open the door slowly. I get to drive now? Start the engine. Yeah, I have to drive. I actually have to drive. Wow. I like that mini-map on the bottom left. That's pretty cool. Pedestrian was hurt. Ah, oh, come on. I figure if you're a thief, you can also be an asshole. Good checkpoints. They're like, hey, why is that guy, uh, pulling out from that one weird area that he just, he was, yeah, what are you doing there? Repair cost one dollar. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty fucking good repair cost. If you break a headlight and it costs one dollar... You stay with that mechanic for the rest of your life. Okay, I'm a B-rated thief. But I made some money, I stole some shit. Good job, man. This I resent that this work. dude's name is Vinny. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. And you can like get different tools and stuff too. Old toaster inventory. Did I sell this shit? How do I sell this shit inventory? Oh. Hey, Vinny told me to relax. That's me. Who am I to deny myself? Let's see... Black Bay. <laughs> it's, the it's the dark web. They want these things. They want a golden goblet. They want the holy grail. I see. S steal your forums. Is this like, um... What kind of website would you call this? It's like, uh, what's that car website? Carfax. It's like Carfax for houses you could steal. Um, logged in is th Thief321. Good name. 
logged in as Thug322. I mean, you just can't make this shit up. But you have a lockpick. A couple different types of lockpicks. Climbing gloves. Jewelry tools. Hacking laptop. $52,000 is how much a hacking laptop costs. You ever see hackers? Okay. This is real shit. Car key signal cloner. Night vision gaggles. Hacking PDA, binoculars, mini camera. Where's the gun? You know, just in case I need to use the gun to break into the house. Not that I want to shoot anybody. Nah, 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 you're a thief, not a murderer. Get some sleep. Sleep 23 hours. Oh, wait, no. How much sleep do we get? A lot of sleep. That's still a lot of goddamn sleep. Uh, being a thief is busy work. What can Check I say? Computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Turn off radio. Same song over and over and over again. Tools for Thieves lets you buy new kit online. But you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on Steal Your Forum. Here you can buy secrets. Secrets. Hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check the instructions. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Secrets. Easy to break the damaged wooden fence in the back. Old TV worth a buck. Spare key, spare door key in the drawer. There's no one home now, go all the car. time. Ah, go to the cat. Tell you what, this is not Bus Simulator 2018. Go hawk your loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. I love this dude's voice so much. It's so stupid. Here I am making fun of myself. I'm going to find out, like, in a couple years that I just have this weird, like, cognitive dissonance. I don't even know if that's the right word for it, but... Yeah, I'm going to find out that I sound exactly like that guy, and everyone's like, Vinny, you are the most pizza pasta motherfucker I've ever heard in my life. Welcome back. Oh. How much for the guitar, please? Boy, have I got some crap that you need. Okay, I may need this. It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. All right, all right, Benny. Not the boss of me. Oh, wait, you are. It's worth a pretty buck. Can't run people over. Um. One oh three. Oh fuck. Ah. It's, it's a real good thing that repairs are so cheap. Man, am I lucky? Also, this is daytime. It's 
park like an asshole real quick. Leave the door open. Let's see how terrible of a thief I can be and still get away with it. Oh, we got trash? No, oh, this is a hiding spot. I can't, like, actually steal the trash. I don't think anybody's home. They took the pots and the pans, too! How do I check under the fireplace? There's usually a lot of good stuff in, in there. In Red Dead. Oh, it's like one or the other. You can't carry the TV and still do your job. Yeah, good safe you got there. $15 in a safe. These people know it, what they're doing. This is my house. I live here. I may not be able to open the gate. But I live here. This is why I'm walking out with my television. My television set. From 1983. Why this guy wants this thing so much? I'm the best thief. Broad daylight. Got the music on. Got the radio on. I'm fucking living like a king. Hey, partner. You a witness to this crime? No, mister. Got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Bay. Skills. Skill point. Open easy locks with a lock pick. I'm surprised there's this much to this game. It doesn't feel like the word simulator belongs on this game. I just associate simulator with shit. Why do you only sell saucepan? I think I made a mistake. No, I'm not supposed to sell the TV. I'm supposed to give the TV to, uh, Vinny, my namesake. Vinny, my dad was a convicted burglar and he told me that the number one rule of burglary is that you don't park your car directly in front of the house you're robbing. Well, you know, I'm gonna have to ban you for the sins of your father, uh, for one. Um, and two, that's really good advice. Fake bands everywhere. Everyone, everywhere. I set up a page on there for the TV. Eh, good work. Now, 
click on the Rent a Thug tab. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you. The one with the dishes. My daddy was a bank robber. Okay. Now drive back to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. Oh, I guess you just want me to... Intimidate. Again, broad daylight. Vinny, yeah, someone said we should get a petition going to have Rockstar put this dude's voice in the next GTA. I like that idea. <laughs> now I'm returning to the scene of the crime from earlier. Oh, this is this is my home. Hello pedestrians. I live here. I mean, I, I, who's to say I can't take a couple things while I'm here? Good physics engine. Great. Now, go buy yourself a DIY simple lockpick on Tools for Thieves. How would you put money? Down there. Wait, was this the house from earlier? The first house? Oh man, they got hit twice? Those poor bastards. Also, I need to tell Vinny to stop calling me while I'm doing a job, because he's gonna get me... He's gonna get me caught. You keep robbing the same dude? No, no, I had, uh, the dude next door I robbed earlier. The previous robbery was the dude next door. Okay, now... Here's the second rule of thievery. Okay, if you're gonna burgle like the best, burgle. We need to make the Borgla. A better Borgla. If you're gonna burgle, like Bob, you park behind the house. Not in front, but behind. So where's the strange neighbor? Seriously, though, there, there should be a crossover. The strange neighbor should be in this. It would be a nice cameo. I want to hog tie him. My car really that fucked up? No. Well, that's good. No repairs needed. I mean, if you're a thief, you drive a Pinto to work. You don't drive a fancy expensive. It repairs immediately and takes your money. Oh, so the car has nano machines. Goblet. <laughs> I can't believe anyone in that town has a fucking goblet. Before you get yourself into trouble, try it on a training lock. 
I left one in the garage. I like the idea that Vinny's just been to my garage. Just leaving shit around, snooping, as usual. Hey, hey, guess what kind of lock picking this is, everybody? I mean, hey, if it works. You did a good job on that old TV in the empty house. For a real job, you gotta scope the joint. Go to 111 by 7 a.m. and watch. So this is where I, the thief, live. It's a garage. Not much to it. Can't really even close the door. Can't close this door either. I guess I just sleep on the couch. Is this what a thieves like uh, life is like? You have to just sleep on couches and like dank non-heated garages. Someone just said, make this open world so we can steal from other thieves. Closed economy. Well, then there could be Thief Simulator 76. Now, who am I kidding? This is a better engine than the fucking creation engine. What these people are gonna know that there's a maniac driving. They may not know who's stealing from their houses. They're gonna see some asshole driving on the sidewalk. Close enough, you can mark a tenant to discover his daily routines. Default middle mouse button. You can also mark cameras to show their range. View range. Check tenant routines in the top right. Blue means they're out. Tenant routines also uh, available in the notes menu. There's a box in there. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. I jump. figure out how to get into the house, into the backyard first. Success. Time for you to leave.
Someone just said my car is going to get towed. Blocking traffic again. Sleeping in the parking lot. Sleep in the car at the parking lot to pass the time. Well, this dude's not leaving for work. I'll tell you one way I can get into that house. I can drive the car directly into it. Like exactly where the dude is sitting. You never take me alive, coppers. There's a box in there. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. All right, well, this dude doesn't leave the house for a little while, so I will do that. I will pass the time. I understand now. I have to know what's in the box. God damn it. Tell you what, my fucking my character sleeps a lot. Being a thief is boring. Break your lockpick. Nice beer. Box with shady content. What are they doing with that box? Then you look on the bright side, at least you're not a streamer. Oh man. There's a lot of levels to that. Stream. Walking out with the TV, don't mind me. Streamer simulator while playing Thief Simulator. Like you get to be, you get to simulate yourself being, well, you don't want to simulate yourself too hard. You might, you know, you might rip it. But what you want to do is simulate being a streamer while playing Thief game. I mean, this is the year of influencers being in video games as, like, main characters or side characters. So expect next year. It's going to get weirder. Okay. Now here's how you get influence points. Ah, someone in chat just called you a fucking asshole. What are you going to do about that, huh?
It's me, Vinny. Yeah, I was a streamer once like you. Then I took an arrow to the... <clears throat> anyway. Welcome back. Drop your big items. Right there. There you go. Wait, does... Who wanted... The... Vinny, are we in 2012? Seven years Skyrim has been out now. Send the vo the box via Black Bay. Okay. Throw bricks. <laughs> Open normal locks with a lockpick. Appraise more items on the spot. Uh, climb vines. Carry big items faster. 25% more backpack space. Backpack space. Use the PDA for hacking terminals. Man, we haven't even gotten to that stuff. I gotta say, this is, this is really entertaining. I have no idea how much game there is, but I am having fun on a Sunday? What the hell? Break or steal the painting. All right. Sell box with shady content. Hundred dollars. Old Yamaha guitar. Do you know hundred dollars in thief times is like seven thousand dollars now? Carters, uh, the Watsons, um, I'm going to not buy a tip for that one. You know what? The back door has an easy lock. God damn it, that was $50. The Lombardis think their friend on Greenview needs a new window. But they think the one they got's fine. Go prove them wrong. You know, Lombardi's isn't that good. The pizza. It's okay. It's fine. I don't love it. You know what? It's it's good. It's good pizza. It's like this old New York pizza slice. They claim they're the best. Because they were one of the first. And they're good. But I hear people, you know, I heard Andros was saying that Lombardi's was the best pizza in New York City. Everybody knows the rules. That's not true. They're good, but they're not that good. Vinny, stop speed memeing. I'm not even consciously aware of it anymore. That old man that makes the pizza in Brooklyn is the best. I've only been, you know, I've been to that place three times, and I was only able to eat there once, because the other two times I, I was there, there was a line out the fucking door. No, not Juliana's. It's called, um, Defara. That's the pizza meme guy's favorite place. He gave that his highest score. And I agree. It's five dollars a slice, though, so good fucking luck with that. But it's usually like an hour-long wait.
found a good place to park. You guys ever had this guy, oh man, what's his, what's his pizza name? It's like John something. Papa? Success. Oh, man. There's a more complex lock system at work here. What game was this in? Where there was, a, a, like, a lock system like this? Oh, Oblivion had the shit like this? Well, man, if you like lockpicking, this is the game for you. Broke. Fix it with a crowbar. Word on the street is the toilet in Greenview 113 is not broke. <laughs> what does that even mean, Vinny? What does that even mean? Show him what for in the toilet, eh? This town is, like, being terrorized by one thief. The property value is gonna go down. By the time I'm done playing this game, every house will have been hit. Front door key for 109. I still have the key for the fucking place. I just love the idea that I have to break a toilet to show someone, like, to teach someone a lesson. Leave the sink on in every house you hit. It's like Home Alone. Marv. Marv, this is my Joe Pesci. <laughs> Got one dog going one way, one dog going the other way. This is a nice house. Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Old Yomaha. Yo, I can fit that in my bag? What the fuck? It's just about full. Someone home?
I didn't break the fucking toilet. I think someone's in the toilet right now. Man, they must really like their toilet. You know what? They have music on. I got the guitar too. My thief rating is E. Worst thief. For the next task, I need you to learn how to climb a lattice. Like a man spider, you know? What are you talking about, man spider? What do you mean? Break or steal the kiss painting? Wait, like Gene Simmons? Oh no, it's actually people kissing. I need better equipment. Okay, well I have... The Ooh, $300! I'm rich. What skills do I want here? Praise more items on the spot or throw bricks. How? How? How is that useful? Shit bricks. When do you unlock active camouflage? I'm working on it. I need to sell a couple things, but I'd like to also maybe purchase a new tool. No. No, the new tools aren't going to happen for a while. Throw bricks from the shadows so nobody sees you break a window. You know what? Throwing bricks could be fun. It's not that, like, breaking a window can ever be silent if you're throwing bricks at it, but I can blame it on a squirrel. Welcome back. Well, maybe I don't have to sleep in a car anymore. The amount of money I'm making as a thief is pretty good. I got $883. I can sleep in a hotel. It's a profitable life. Uh, tell you what, I can give you $30 for a uh, alarm clock. Alright, sure. Break or steal the painting for $50. Break or steal the kiss painting at the Watsons. It's nighttime, so I'm hoping the Watsons are sleeping. God damn it. Yeah, I can get into 109 at any time.
problem is the problem is they have nothing of worth climb the fence yet. Nothing suspicious here, sir. Where's the painting? Freeze! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, we'll try again. And you brick the painting. Fuck, I should have got bricks. At least they didn't tow my car. Just have to be careful not to crash into any signs because the cops are very well aware of some reckless asshole. As soon as signs start getting knocked down... It's a clear indication... ...that a house is about to be struck. So that's my thief... ...thing. That's like my thing. I'm not like the wet bandit or the sticky bandit. That is how you get to sleep. If you're tired, you just die.
Lakers are always very quiet. She's in the room with the painting. Take the microwave. Where's the... Is this the right house? Freeze! Was this the... It's the wrong house! <laughs> Man, they got there quick. One twelve that I have to break into, not one thirteen. Shit. Are you intentionally ignoring the hiding spots? No. I accidentally ignored the hiding spots. Hello, I am just a, a neighbor. Just a random passerby neighbor walking by. Vinny, why are you robbing houses of people who have psychic connections to the cops? Thing dead. There's money. I saw money on the table. Wow. My vine blind is is extreme tonight. Steal their fucking phone. If you steal their landline, they can't call the cops. Now that's good thinking.
This is not a light item. Chat, should I look around for money and valuables? I have the house to myself for like an hour. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm going to take a couple things. Just a couple things. There's got to be something in this bedroom. Just a couple things. Got to be something in the bathroom. No. Rubik's Cube. No, can't get that. Golden Goblet! It's the Golden Goblet! It's the treasure! I'm so good at this, I'm gonna call the cops on myself. Oh, hello, neighbors. Attention, all neighbors. How do I smile at the neighbors? Yo, that, that is a dope painting. So that was a good day at thieving. This dude wants the painting. When I said dope, I mean it was like, you know, B. Like a, a letter grade of B. This is, this is actually, oh fuck. This is a good simulator game. Well, before I try to sell the painting, let me see if it's something that anyone wants on the internet. Break or steal the pear decoration. Uh, no one wants this fucking garbage painting. I don't actually have to sleep. I mean, it's it's 3 a.m. I can keep doing crimes. It's 3 a.m. in-game and in, in real life. Perfect. I have just enough for these, but I, I don't have the agility for them just yet. My thoughts go to the, the moment in the movie Repo Man. Where the dude is talking about crimes. I played this clip on stream before, but it's it's so good. A 
do you, uh, you think it's too late uh, for us to get romantically involved? I think a little. Motherfucker! <laughs> Oh man, the speech was cut out of this version. Come on, Duke, let's go do those crimes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go get sushi and, and not pay. Come on, Duke. It's the best acting in the movie. Damn, I can't find the scene I want. There's just a, um, there's a good monologue from the character where he talks about how his life doing crimes was a bad idea and that he, he blames society. He really says that, too. That's the first example of that meme. Repo man, I blame society. Oh, here it is. <laughs> the acting. Be all right, man," he says as his meat noises regurgle. Maybe not. All over the floor. No, regurgle. It's a new one. I just made it up. It's, it's uh, it means you know, well, you know what it means. What is this? It's a movie called Repo Man from the 80s. It's one of my favorite movies. I reference it a lot. I talk about it a lot. I've done a movie night with it. It's it's so fucking good. Not everyone's going to be into it, but it's a movie about punk rock, aliens, repossessing cars, blaming society, and um, and some other stuff. I know it's daytime, but maybe they're at work. No, they're not at work. So I wonder, what does that gray area mean? I mean, they could be anywhere. It just means they're home. It means you don't know. Okay. Do more reconnaissance. Wait, this is... No, I have to go to the Powells, right? Oh, shit. How am I so good at getting the wrong house in this game? Honey, I'm home! Got a remote? You know how rare those are? Yeah, they took the remote. I mean, they took the remote. Like, that's the only thing they took.
took the router. Really, cunt? How did you know? What gave it away? Nope, no crimes in here. It's probably society that broke the thing and stole the router and the remote. Yes, hello. No crimes that I'm aware of. Nope. Definitely- I'm just a neighbor going for a jog. Remote, router, and guitar stolen. Stealing stuff will return. Returning home with the loot gives you experience points the first time. Theft will give you 10 times more experience. If you're not sure what to do, check your computer for hints and additional jobs. You can run away or hide. Closet and dumpster. Welcome back. Okay, the remote, $21. This vase, $5. The router. $40 and the guitar is $150. Yo, if someone stole my guitar, I would be fucking pissed. I have a nice acoustic guitar, I like it. It's got sentimental value. The vase online sells for more. Oh shit. Vinny Dorito Pope said that there will be more new game announcements this year than at last year's Game Awards. You ready for some Metroid? How about some Pokemon? Uh, let's go... 3v. It's a new type of Pokemon. It's just like another expansion. It's like Pokemon Yellow. Let's check out the Millers, 106. They bought a pricey painting. Okay. Uh, let's let's do that. I'm gonna hit that one.
Someone said, I'm ready for you to play Banjo-Kazooie during the Game Awards. Me? I would never do that. Man, even this game doesn't lock the mouse in. It's when you fucking tab out that's the problem with a lot of these games. Now it's back in. Okay, what house was it? 106? Okay, 106. I wonder how fancy this is gonna be. Got a multi-level house. Can't... I can't, um, do the thing. Let's see if I can go around the back. Painting is back there. The window is open. No, you cannot jump in this game. You can eventually climb, which is what I'm working towards, but for the time being, pretty limited. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. Don't look out the window. You're not gonna like what you see. think they're above me, but... Just, just save here. Oh, I dropped this. Shit. 
The fuck are you always looking out the window for? What's so interesting about a wooden wall? Oh no. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? I thought they were coming out to get me. Stuck. Stuck. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, it's not too glitchy this game so far. Couple, couple moments. Surprisingly well made game. But getting stuck on a door is not one glitch that I want to see. I'm okay with a cop like phasing through a closet, but I don't need to see my character get stuck on a fucking. door. Then he remember that story Carl told about how he looked out the window cleaning dishes, he saw a woman undressing, so he took off his pants and showed her his ass. They noticed that they got broken, their house got broken into. I don't think they know it's me, necessarily, and I have plenty of time to get out of here. Yeah, he said that, um, so he, he was looking at someone who was undressing. And he got caught looking, so he thought that the best thing to do would be to take off his clothes. And then Suzanne, his girlfriend, walked in and was like, what are you doing? He was like, shh. Like, eh, just wanted her to feel comfortable. Just giving her a bit back. Hmm? There we go. Hey, you know what else? I'll do one more crimes. windshield. sell the painting. I can't sell the painting online. It doesn't seem like anyone wants it online, so... This dude is gonna get it. I bet he has no idea how fine this art is. The art that I've just been throwing around. Welcome back. Look at that. $350. That's the best one yet. This headset. $90. 50, 60. That's a really good hit. Stop selling things? Why? Hang on a minute. Oh, you may need it. Joe from Bradford asks, what body parts can you live without? He wants to know. He's obviously having sleepless nights. Ah! <laughs> I thought to sort of make it interesting and stuff. Uh, I thought, I wonder if I can do it, right? <laughs> if it Hang on a minute. In this experiment, washing up, up into the sink every... In front of the window. Yeah. <laughs> Swishing his head around. <laughs> I sort of look... But we talked about the, the washing up thing before, I don't know, and uh, I sort of look out out of a window, so the sink's in front of the window. Yeah. And that's why I quite like washing up, because I can just look out onto the street, see people going past. There's like a local homeless fella called Franco. You know, I look out and he's all right and everything. Sure. But I was looking across the way, right, and there's some, uh, sort of, there's some Chinese people who live on, in a flat, right, really small flat, and they're up till all hours. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but they, they decide to back up at about half three in the morning, right? they're always really noisy and that. But above them, 
there was some woman, right, who um, the sort of bedroom is on par to our kitchen, right? Yeah. So I'm sort of washing up. Yeah. And I sort of look across and see see this woman with, uh, like, you know, no no pants on and that, no no bra on that. Naked. Yeah, just... That's the word you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's just wandering about me now on that. So I was like, oh, what's going on here? So I kept, carried on washing up and that. <laughs> what's going on there? Uh, kept looking, and then I was looking and she looked at me. Right, so we made eye contact. Sure. So I was like, oh, God, right. So um, what I thought the best thing to do was, was sort of drop me pants a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just just a little bit, just like, you know, I had boxer shorts on and that. I thought if I just show a little bit of little bit of sort of arse cheek, then it's kinda like, right, we we quits. Right? <laughs> I don't understand the thinking. So so Suzanne's watching the telly, right? I think she was watching Sex in the City or something. Yeah. She sort of turns around to see how I'm getting on with the washing up, right? She sees me with like my pants sort of down a little bit with my arse out. She said, What are you doing? I said, Don't look now. <laughs> I said, but there's a woman over the road, right? We know pants on and that. She caught me looking. I'm just giving her a bit back. <laughs> I love the fact that he explains the rules and Suzanne's meant to go, OK, <laughs> that makes sense. But I don't... So, so hang on, so you, you, you showed a bit of your arse. You turned, presumably, to show the arse. Or well, waggled the arse out the woman. I had to lift it up a little bit on the sort of on the draining board. What? Hang on, though. What, um, what did she do? Did you register her reaction? When she saw a bit of your arse, what happened? When she saw my ass, yeah. well, then I wasn't looking because I thought, in a way, I don't want, I don't want it to look like, well, I've seen a bit of your stuff, here's a bit of mine. <laughs> I just look. thought, at the end of the day, I caught a glance of you. It's only fair. You've had a bit back. You know, I'm not you making see, a big I, deal out of I it. I genuinely think James Stewart missed a trick here in Rear Window. Yeah. This would have been, you know, a much better film had James Stewart just popped his pants down. It would have given a whole new meaning to the to the title Rear Window. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's tricky, though. I seem to be surrounded by people like that. Remember that film, that slither, sliver, isn't it? All right, thanks, Carl. So I think I have to break into the garage of the house. Any there were vines on the side of the place. Oh, I can climb those now, can I? Well, it's a Sunday stream. Well, it's official. It's a Sunday stream. And I'm hiding in the trash. Now you're probably thinking, how did I get here? So this is, uh, this is my life now. I just live in this dumpster. Game is definitely addictive. Pretty, pretty good. Little, little thin layer of crust around it, but not so much that it it detracts from the from the game. I don't have climbing gloves. Should have bought them. Should have bought them. Damaged U phone.
the fuck? Dude is sleeping through all this. Yeah, there's there was the cross there. If this works, I will eat one sock live on stream. I'm kidding. I think this will work, so I'm gonna go ahead and retract that statement. I'm gonna have to eat a sock, aren't I? I don't know, officer. He went into my closet room. Are there any exits out of the room? No. Well, I'm sorry, man. There's nothing we can do about this. Want to come to bed with us? Of course. about to hide too. Very confused about the layout of this house. Alright, so we know okay, I, I know what to do now. I know what to do. I'm gonna do it real quick. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. Get a dumpster. Alright, so they're sleeping now. Which means Man, I should have bought those fucking climbing gloves. Even so, um... Even so... Well, no, that would have actually been really helpful. There's no door otherwise. You know what? I'm gonna go get some climbing gloves. This is the first mission. I'm really going to need them. And after this, we'll do the art and uh, go to bed. All of us. Collectively. Even if it's like 4 p.m. and you're wide awake and you just woke up. We're all going to go to bed. We're all going to have the same dream. Giant squid is in your toilet. How did it fit in there? I don't know. You wake up in your dream. You're, so you're still asleep, but you wake up. You go to your toilet to use it. Squid. And then your imagination can go. You let it wild from there. That's our collective dreams tonight. You're not allowed to not have this dream. It's definitely a good, it's not a nightmare. Ever been to Japan? They have themed hotels around this stuff. It's 
Sad thing is, I'm probably not lying. like horror themed sex hotels. I wouldn't recommend them. Anyway, I'm just saying this this is a thing. There's like videos on this you can watch them. Why am I still talking about this? Oh fuck, I made a noise. This, this item is too big. Just gonna do the job and get out. Speaker, seven pounds. People in this house are like dead asleep. again. Someone said get the dinosaur. Seven pound bass guitar. How much do you think? How much do you think I could get for that? <laughs> I'm all full. Figure out how to do this and leave. fun. <laughs> Man, stealing shit is fun. That's the thief rating I was hoping for. You're still weak on the lockpicks. Up your game. Welcome back. Jamoso receiver is 180. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I've been selling stuff. Meanwhile, I should probably keep it, bring it back to my place, and that way, if there's a request for it, I can fulfill it. If I play more of this game at some point in the future, I will try to remember to do that. Just remind me, chat. But no, I, I need to go to bed now. That was, um... Why did you sell the Golden Goblet? I don't think the request online for the Golden Goblet... ...remains... ...after you bring one in. Break their sink. I'm leaving this town! This place sucks! Let's see. A uh, flower vase is 20 bucks. Um... Tall vase, candle hold holder, candle holder. Uh, damaged U phone. Fuck, man, I had that before. Microwave for 180 bucks. Headset for 180. Yes, I definitely need to start bringing this stuff back with me first before I go to the pawn shop. 
No go uh no goblet. No goblet. I am surprised at how much I enjoyed this. For now, I'm still entertained enough to want to come back to it. And I think I will. What do you what do you say, chat? Yeah. All right. Sure, I'll come back to it then one day. Didn't expect that to happen. Okay, now I just need to uh, save the game. How does one save the game? Exit game. Eh. Always worry about that. There are times that I've saved games by exiting, or so I thought, and then came back to it with no save. So now I always freak out about that kind of thing. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, chat. I know this was a little different for a Sunday stream, but I needed needed to do something a little different. It can't always be, you know, trash or wacky. I was happy to try something that ended up being um, playable and entertaining both at the same time. For future Sunday streams, I still have more uh, GameCube corruptions. Some good ones. I have some shovelware showcase type shit. I have a really, really, really fucking weird, trippy walking simulator. And... I hate to say it, but I have more Android trash. I just saw it in the folder there. Hello, dog of strange neighbor, scary house. I bet you want to see that one, don't you? Well, if you or anyone you know has an idea for a Sunday stream, email it to me. You know, keep in my keep in mind pacing. Each segment, usually about a, like a two-hour segment of gameplay, hour and a half to two hours is perfect. Um, I send the stuff to either Nari or Sphinx to check out, and then I play it. So if you have any ideas for like interesting games or stuff that might go well on a Sunday stream, I always appreciate that. So attention, Vine Sauce viewers. Farming simulator for Switch? I forgot you gave me that, Gaijo. Okay. Um, I heard it was actually pretty decent. And I'm worried about it being too boring. But I still have it. And I will check it out. It's got like a 73% on Metacritic. Peggy? Hey. Hey. very excited to bring the game which has already been played by millions of players to a whole new console oh. well then I guess we're going farming at some point Vinny, who's going to pay that guy to actually make an attention Vine Sauce viewers video? I am open to it. I am open to this idea. It's got to be a good script, though. And if you need a couple bucks, let me know. I don't know how much he's going for these days. It's 50 bucks? Wow, he really graduated from Fiverr. Before you do it, okay, don't do it. I would say don't do it, and don't do the credit card thing. So, just don't. Okay, that would be great. 